Hey, hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Clockify tutorial. My name is Julian and in this video, we'll be talking about managing time off in Clockify. You'll learn how to set up time off policies, manage requests, track accruals, and handle balance updates. And we'll also go over configuring weekends, holidays, and how to efficiently communicate time off information across your team. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, to get started, first enable time off in your workspace settings. Once activated, you'll see the time off section in the sidebar where you can manage everything related to employee absences, including policies, holidays, and requests. Time off policies in Clockify give you complete control over how employees request and accrue their time off. To manage time off policies, click on the settings icon here you can choose whether to manage holidays or create and adjust time off policies. Clockify allows you to set up multiple time off policies, each tailored to different teams or employees. Whether it's paid vacation, sick leave, or unpaid time off, you can customize policies to fit your company's needs. Each policy defines how time off is tracked, either in days like vacations, for example, or hours, such as bank time off like time off in lieu. Policies can be assigned to specific employees or teams, meaning only those added to a policy can request time off under it. You can also set approval workflows, requiring requests to be approved by admins, managers, or specific members. If left unchecked, requests are automatically approved when submitted. For companies using accrual systems, policies can be configured to automatically increase balances on a monthly or yearly basis. If needed, you can allow negative balances, enabling employees to request time off even if they don't have enough accrued. When tracking time off in days, you can enable half day requests, letting employees take either the first or second half of a day. If they need multiple half days in a row, you can allow half day requests across multiple days. Similarly, for hourly based policies, employees can be permitted to request time off in specific hourly increments across multiple days. Another useful feature is automatic time entry creation, which ensures that approved time off and holidays are logged as time entries under a designated time off project. This allows you to see time off to when you run time reports alongside regular time entries, plus you can filter reports by status here. When a policy is no longer in use, such as an old vacation policy from a previous year, you can archive it instead of deleting it. Simply click the three dots next to a policy and select archive to keep historical records while keeping active policies organized. Next, you can customize your non-working days and holidays. In workspace settings, you can define which days count as non-working days. This is useful for companies with non-traditional work weeks, ensuring time off calculations exclude the correct days. Holidays are company-wide non-working days that don't require approval. You can assign them to all employees or to specific teams, which is helpful for businesses in multiple locations with different public holidays. To improve organization, you can color code holidays and set them as one-time or reoccurring events Reoccurring holidays like New Year's Day automatically carry over to each year, so you don't have to re-enter them. Once set, holidays are automatically applied to time off records, keeping requests and balances accurate without manual adjustments. Permissions are assigned per team, meaning a manager can oversee requests for one team, but not for others. Additionally, Admins can enable team visibility, allowing employees to see their colleagues approve time off for better planning while keeping request details private. Otherwise, regular users can only view their own requests. Admins and team managers can submit time off requests on behalf of employees, ensuring accurate tracking and flexibility if an employee is unable to do so. To request time off, select the employee, choose a policy, and then set the dates. You can also add a note for context, 
automatically it will be noted that the request has been made by a manager. Once submitted, the request follows the standard approval process with notifications sent to the employee and relevant approvers. Time off requests are managed through the Requests tab in the Time Off section where designated approvers can review, approve, or reject requests. Requests can be filtered by employee, status, as pending, approved, rejected, or a date range for a streamlined review process. If needed, approvers can also withdraw previously approved requests in case of errors. When rejecting a request, approvers can add a note explaining the reason, and both the requester and relevant managers receive email notifications. You can also click on the note icon to view submissions and rejection notes and hover over the status label to see who approved the request and when. If a request exceeds the available balance and the policy does not allow a negative balance, the total will be displayed in red and the request cannot be approved. For record keeping, all requests can be exported as CSV or Excel files. The Timeline tab offers a visual overview of your team's time off schedules, helping you plan and synchronize leaves effectively. You can filter by teams or individuals and view both past and future time off. The timeline can be adjusted to display a custom time range, ensuring that you have an accurate overview of your team's availability. Time off is shown in the color-coded blocks based on the color you've chosen for the policy or holiday. Admins can view time off for everyone. Team managers can see their team's time off and regular users can see their own time off and their teams. If enabled, in workspace settings, they can also view time off for everyone in the organization. This feature helps you avoid scheduling conflicts and ensures smooth team planning, providing a clear visual overview of all future time off. Managing accruals and balances is streamlined through the balance tab where you can easily track each employee's accrued, used, and remaining time off. Each employee's balance can be displayed by policy, like vacation or sick leave, or by user, like a specific employee's balance across multiple policies. Before employees can request time off on policies that don't allow for a negative balance, you must assign them accrued days or hours. If they don't have any, you can set an initial balance by clicking add. Balances can be updated manually or in bulk, and you can leave comments when making changes for transparency. Admins have access to manage time off balances for everyone, while team managers can manage their team members' balances and regular users can only see their own balance history. You can add or remove accrual days or hours at any time. When these changes are made, both the employee and their team member will receive an email notification. The balance history section provides a transparent audit trial of all time off requests and balance adjustments. If you need to understand why a certain person has a specific number of days, you can click on the three dots and select History to get a detailed view of information. The balance history shows all time off requests, their status, and any changes to an employee's accrual. You'll see what was changed, when it happened, and who made the change. Pending an approved request will remove time from the balance, while rejected or withdrawn requests will add the original time back. Admins can view and manage the balance history for everyone, as well as add or remove accrued days or hours. Admin manual actions, such as adding or removing days due to a new period starting or overtime work, will also appear in the history. Team managers can see the balance and history for all of their team members, but cannot edit it. while regular users can only see their own balance history. And that's everything you need to know about managing time off in Clockify. To learn more, check out our other tutorials on our website or check us out on YouTube. We're there too. Anyways, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.